Hi, my name is Catherine, and today it's time to continue playing A Kind Words. Playing might not be the right word, though, because this game is more about the wholesomeness and interactivity and exchanging thoughts than actually about gaming, but I'm gonna do my second Kind Words episode anyway, because we all might need some kind and encouraging words. By all means, I'm not a mental health professional. That is not the point of this. The point is to just use the resources that you have, in this case words and knowledge, and try to send some kindness, some gentleness to other people's everyday lives. So let's begin. Oh. We got a new sticker! Mel dear, a kind friend. Oh, thank you! Uh, let's view requests. Existing is not living. I can run on my favorite wheel every day and buy a new one when it breaks. I still feel no connection to life. Calling suffering through each day, winning is weird. M. Um, I don't think I have a reply for this. At least not anything that would change the perspective drastically. But I have been thinking about these same themes. And I heard about this excellent quote. That joy is an extreme feeling, just like deep sadness is. I'm not sure if I'm explaining this the right way. This is not my native language, so I use the words that I know and that which are familiar to me, but that we should strive to be content somewhere between those extreme feelings, that you won't always be feeling extreme happiness, no extreme sadness, but that the important thing would be to find some sort of balance somewhere in between those things and try to find meaning between those two extremes as well. Obviously all of our feelings are visitors. Even though it might feel to us like they will stay, they are not here to stay. They come and they go. And even though it might feel like we feel the same thing quote unquote all the time, that usually isn't the case, because that is not how I, our mind works. But I can very, very easily understand why people think about this, and I believe that it's important to find those meaningful connections, those meaningful moments, things you feel passionate about in life. This person speaks about running on their favorite wheel every day <laughs> and buying a new one when it breaks. Which is an interesting metaphor, I guess, for this. I think we feel connection to life when we feel connection to others. No matter if we feel connection to people, nature, animals, we need to find that some sort of connection from somewhere. If we isolate ourselves, if we do not genuinely understand the value of finding these connections, we might feel lost. But definitely, if you feel like you're suffering through each day, then you need help. That is not a normal situation. People should not feel like they are suffering through each day. And that is when you need help of a professional, or you might need medical help. And both of those options are totally fine. There are people in this world who might need medication for the rest of their lives. Simply because they have chemical imbalance in their brain and it's totally fine. You find what works for you. That might not mean that the road is easy, but it's still worth traveling. Even our paths would be hard. We learn a lot from them. Those are valuable lessons as well. Finally, I was able to take a vacation with friends after a pretty tough year. It's almost weird. After all the loss I've had this year, I feel hopeful. 
I want my dreams to work out and I'm more motivated than ever to get them there, ill. And this is a reminder that if you use kind words, your replies do not need to be complex. No one expects perfection from you. Many people using this platform are not native English speakers, so you will encounter many mistakes with writing. And that is kind of part, part of why I enjoy this, because perfection in life, it does not exist. We might say that something was perfect or executed perfectly or ach someone achieved perfection, but perfection does not exist. It is unachievable. We are always flawed, we always make mistakes, and that is what makes us beautiful. And this was my reply to that person. Hold on to that hope. I hope you will be able to achieve your dreams and have a wonderful vacation. Good luck with everything. I don't know how much longer I can hold on for. Hmm. Please remember that you are not alone with these feelings. You are worthy of care and love. When you feel this way, it is wise and important to realize that help is needed either in form of therapy or medicine or both. Please don't hesitate to seek help. Call helplines, consult your doctors, seek support groups. Just do not try the weather all this alone. First of all, remember to breathe. You got this. Things will get easier and you will learn how to deal with these feelings, little by little. I believe in you. And sometimes we don't find all the right words, and sometimes our replies can feel like they are not enough. But that is again not the point of kind words. It is about sending words of kindness, words of encouragement to people you've never met. Sometimes it feels like I have two voices telling me how to do things. Like the angel and the devil, one voice is being a people pleaser and other tells me to think about what I want. I thought the people pleaser in me was the angel, but now I'm wondering who's who. And So I think I used all my 14 lines that I had for this message, but this is my reply. You are wise to realize that we are much more complex beings than just good versus evil. People need healthy boundaries so that they won't break themselves while trying to please other people. There is no way of pleasing everyone, and our worth is not dependent on our ability to please other people. We can understand this distinction and still be kind people who help others when needed. It is very important to know what you want for yourself in this life, so you likely have one life, so both following your dreams and setting healthy boundaries is important. Let's send this message. My son is going to be born tomorrow and it's starting to sink in just how unprepared I am on so many levels for what comes next. I'm not sure what is going on. Is this maybe a C-section situation or is that the due date the, when the birth should begin? But one never really knows when, when the right time is, so I'm assuming that it's gonna be C-section date or something. That must not be easy. Let's reply to them. Let's give some words of encouragement, if we can. And this was my reply. <laughs> Among my friends who are parents, there is a saying, no matter what you do beforehand, no one is ever prepared enough to be a parent. When interacting with kids and wondering if I'm saying or doing the right things, I found comfort in thinking about this and the fact that we are all doing the best we can. It is a mark of a wise and kind person to wish best for all children. There is no need to strive for perfection because it 
does not exist. Simply doing your best and learning things little by little is totally okay. You got this. Mm, let's this time write some words to encourage other people. This is one of my favorite quotes from Maya Angelou. I think her words are wise and I respect them, so I chose this quote. During times of trouble, her words have given me comfort and hopefully they will now comfort someone else. I will probably at some point also quote here people with whom I do not agree on many things, but I do not believe in perfect people nor in people who do not make mistakes. I firmly believe that many people can say wise and quote worthy things even if I would not agree with everything else they do or say. But this is one of my favorite quotes so I will send it to someone else and I hope that it will give them some encouragement, some, some kindness. Folding paper, preparing for takeoff. Your good vibes are now flying to the air for everyone to catch. Cool. And I think I'm gonna end this episode here. I'm gonna do this a bit more. I'm gonna send some words of encouragement and reply to more messages in the future. I'm gonna maybe do this like once every two months or something. Thank you for watching this video. And hopefully I'll meet you via some other video on this channel. Remember to spread some kindness in the world today. Thank you. 